house with a door. One, two, three, four. Ready to play? What's the day? It's Wednesday. Row and row and row. Hello? One paper helicopter ready for flight. I'll try it out. You watch, see if it twists round as it goes towards the ground. Ready, steady, go. Oh, yes, it did. I'll make another. I've got a strip of colored paper. Folding it in half, like that. And I'm gonna press it down really hard to make a deep crease. There. Open it out. And I'm going to tear down along the crease I've made. That's why it has to be a deep crease, so the paper will tear. And put it the right way around. Now, bend that back like that, because these are going to be the blades of the helicopter. So if I bend them back like this, it will probably s twist around, spin around in the air. There. Looks a bit like bird's wings, doesn't it? The blade sticking out like that. Needs to have a weight on the bottom if it's going to twist round. So, I'll just roll and roll and roll. There. Paper helicopter number two, ready for launching. See if this one will fly. Watch, see if you can see it twisting round. Ready, steady, go. Tissue plane from a plane tissue. Hello. I'm going to give my tissue plane a fly again. See how long it takes to hit the ground. Ready, steady, go. Took quite a long time. I'll try some heavier paper. Sheet of writing paper. Will it fall quicker or slower than the tissue? Ready, steady, go. The writing paper just beat the tissue. Try something else, some newspaper. Will it be quicker or slower than the writing paper? Ready, steady, go. I think that was a draw. Wonder if I can keep a piece of tissue in the air till I get to the calendar. I'll launch it again. Not quite. Have another try later. Do you know what day it is today? It's Wednesday. The month is March. That number is 12. So it's Wednesday, the 12th of March. You might have seen the wind blowing kites in the air, or blowing in the sails of yachts, or even blowing on the sea and making waves lash and crash about. But have you ever seen the wind itself? Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. 
Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. Birds seem to glide like gliders, float down on the air, and then when they get near to the ground, they flap their wings, climb high again, and then glide like this. You make your arms like a bird's wings, flap them first, get high into the air, and then just glide. flying through the air, smaller than a bird, and it makes a buzzing sound, a bee. All through the flowers I buzz, a buzz, buzz, a buzz, a buzz, buzz, buzzing the day goes by, buzz, buzz, a buzz, a buzz, 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 a buzz, a buzz, 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 a buzz, buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Something else flying through the air. It's a little bit bigger than a bee. It's not so noisy. Hardly makes a sound as it flutters from flower to flower. A butterfly fluttering through. The flowers flut, flut, flutter, flut, flut, fluttering by for hours. Flut, flut, flutter, flut, 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 flutter, flut, 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 flutter, flut, 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 flutter, flut, flut, flut. the wind blowing and buffeting the butterflies and bees and shaking the flowers and trees. <whistles> Whistling and whirling wind. <whistles> shaking and shivering. <whistles> you make the noise of the wind and whirl about. You ready? Shiver. Oh, oh, oh. Does he do shiver when it's cold? Oh, oh, oh. Try shivering now. Oh, oh, oh. Your face goes all wobbly oh, and your teeth jump about. Oh, oh, oh. It's really difficult to talk. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
How would you get yourself warm if you were shivery like this? Oh, oh, what do you think you'd do? Would you uh, oh, oh, sort of uh, jump about and stamp your feet like that and uh, oh, clap your hands too? Ah. Oh, I found getting warmer already. Ah, that's it. You jumping about and clapping your hands. Ah, that's it. Or oh, perhaps we could uh, do this. This is a really good one for getting warm. Go on, swing your arms. Warm yourself up. Oh, yes. And change and up and down and round. That's it. Give a really good swing. Gosh, I'm really getting warm now. <sighs> and if you're really not warm enough, you can try huddling. Do you do this when it's cold? I do. I huddle up. I huddle my arms like that. Hold them tight. You got yours? Really tight. I said, squeeze up as small as you can. Feel the warm. You feel it. Much warmer now. Are you? Oh, what about birds when the cold wind's blowing? Do you know how they keep warm? <sighs> the north wind doth blow, and we shall have snow. And what will the robin do then? Poor thing. He'll sit in a barn to keep himself warm and hide his head under his wing Poor thing. Do you know that rhyme? If you do, say it with me. Here comes the wind. The north wind doth blow, and we shall have snow. And what will the robin do then, poor thing? He'll sit in the barn to keep himself warm and hide his head under his wing. Poor thing. Of course, in the wintertime, all animals have to find ways of making themselves warm. And a farmer has to look after his animals and give them lots of extra food. Well, that's what Ted Moult's story is about today, looking after his cattle. But first, have a look at the clock and see if you know what time it's saying. Well, the long hand's gone a quarter of the way around the clock, so it's a quarter past something. And the short hand is pointing just past the five. So, it's quarter past five. are some of my cattle and they live inside during the winter in this yard and they live inside because there's no food for them outside in the field there's no grass and I'm very busy during the winter feeding them but I've still got some outside and now it's time to go and feed them oh well here's a breakfast for the other cattle two bales of straw one bale of hay. Well, I can't carry three bales at once, so I brought the wheelbarrow. One bale of straw. Two bales of straw. To top it up, bale of hay. Mustn't forget my fork. Off we go then. Oh, here we are then, all waiting for the feed. Ah, hello, boys. Now we'll see what happens. They're all friends of mine, you know. Ooh. One. <sighs> when you've had cattle for a time, it's amazing how friendly they become. Of course, some are more friendly than others, but that's just like people. Some people are more friendly than others. Now, take this one. Uh, I think he was born here. This is Fred. And the one behind my ear is Charlie. 
Uh, and then we've got some others. Uh, there's one from Scotland. His name's Angus. Uh, one from Hereford. And one from Sussex. And we've even got one from France. Well, not exactly, but at least his father came from France. And so we've collected them all here, and they all live here during the winter, and they look to me to provide their breakfast. I suppose I'd better give it to them, hadn't I? Oh, well, there we are, boys. Hey, today, first course. Oh. Go on, Angus. Must be careful to put my string in my pocket. Cattle don't like a string, you know. Come on, George. What's the matter with you? Aren't you very hungry today? Ah, oh, how are you this morning? Feeding time for the pets. Pippa likes hay to eat, and she also uses it to make her bed nice and warm. All the pets need a little bit of extra food in the winter, and they all like different kinds. There's a nice big carrot. Who do you think would like that? Pippa. And an apple. Give that to Fred. What else? Oh, lots of peanuts. For the mice. And there's some special food here. For the fish. They just like a little sprinkle of it. There's only one kind of food left. A walnut. So that must be for... Katu. I'll feed Pippa first. There you are, Pippa. Pippa likes carrots to nibble. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? She loves them so much, they make her dribble. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. For me, says Fred. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? I think I'll save this for my tea. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. are good for the mice Oh why, oh why, oh why They eat them all day because they're so nice Oh my, oh my, oh my
shake us some food, say the fish. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? It floats on the water, we don't need a dish. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. says Katu. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? Because I just love them to crack and to chew. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Here you are, Katu. paper wings. I'm going to let these pieces of tissue paper float down to the ground. Which one do you think will take the longest to reach the ground? Already? Steady? Go. This one took the longest. I'll race with you. Oh, all right. You right. have that one. Helps them to go. Oh. Ready? Steady, go. Mine's going to be the longest. Stay up, stay up. It yes. Was. Yes. Did you guess that one? Let's try it again. All right. This time, hold the corner, right. like that. Now, which will be the longest, do you think? Ready, steady, go. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, I let go a bit late. Oh, I Fine think it still again. would have been the last. And again. I wonder how long we'll be able to keep it up in the air blowing. Right. Would you like to try? Right, I'm not very good at this. Well, you can try. And we'll count, see how many blows he can keep it up in the air for. Right. Ready, steady, blow! One, two, ah. three, four, five! Five blows. Ah, not very good. I wonder if not I can keep good. it up longer. No, but she beats me. Can you count for me? Yeah, all right. Don't go yet. Ready, steady, go! Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Well, it was nearly a draw. Yeah, Almost I think it was five, really, more than yes. six. Tell you what, I've got my paper helicopter here. I'll race my helicopter against your piece of tissue paper. Yes. See which one can get to the ground first this time. Right. Ready, steady, go. Helicopter, easy, helicopter, wasn't it? Helicopter, yes. Easy. <laughs> well, you could have a tissue paper race. Or you could make a paper helicopter and have a race with that. It's time for us to go now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.